understanding the phrase, Russell in the air, an English language exploration. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating phrase, Russell in the air. This phrase is not only picturesque but also carries a unique meaning and usage in the English language. Let's dive in and understand its nuances and how you can use it in your daily conversations. Rustle in the air refers to a soft, often pleasant sound of movement, typically caused by leaves, papers, or similar light objects being stirred by the wind or by some form of movement. The key here is the auditory aspect of the phrase, it's all about the sound. This phrase is often used to evoke a sense of atmosphere or to describe a subtle change or anticipation that one can almost hear happening. The phrase, rustle in the air, doesn't just describe a literal sound. It often has a figurative meaning. It can imply that something is about to happen or a change is coming, much like the way a rustling sound can signify movement or change. This usage is more poetic and can be found in literature and everyday speech to add a layer of imagery to the description. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in context. 1. As the meeting came to a close, there was a rustle in the air, a sense of anticipation for the announcement. 2. Walking through the autumn park, the rustle in the air from the fallen leaves created a beautiful, serene ambiance. 3. There was a rustle in the air as rumors circulated through the crowd, indicating something unexpected was about to occur. Understanding synonyms can help broaden your vocabulary. Similar phrases to rustle in the air include whisper in the wind, stirring of leaves, gentle murmur, these phrases carry a similar sense of auditory imagery and subtle indication of change or movement. I hope this exploration of the phrase, rustle in the air, has been enlightening. Remember, language is not just about literal meanings but also about the feelings and images words can evoke. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be using phrases like this with ease in your own conversations. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.